Let's roll. And good evening and welcome to high school football as Zulu Sports presents and Happy to bring you high school football, football from St. Louis and his car to the college prep. We are in the lion's den as the lion's prep takes on board. Welcome everybody with Demetri Shotown, Cody Bully, DJ. It is week three, high school football in St. Louis at Cardinal Ritter College Prep. You know, when you're talking about COVID and all the things like that as it happened within our community and throughout the country, this is, a, man, just a, uh, just a rewarding opportunity to have this because this was all about being able to get it done and being able to see football, particularly high school football, man, it's no other better opportunity to be at and no better place to be than Cardinal Ritter. And Friday Night Lights, and, and this is what it's all about. Beautiful turf field they have here now, new DJ here at Cardinal Ritter College Prep. Uh, they're looking to get back on a winning track here, Coach Brendan Spates. I know a good friend of yours, Coach Spain, looking to get back on a winning track. Had a tough loss last week against Joliet Catholic, uh, lost by 10. Well, Joliet Catholic is a very good team coming out of Joliet, Illinois. I mean, they powerhouse. They play well. They're very physical. But you got to give Cardinal Ritter credit. They went in there, and they played competitively. Losing by 10 to Joliet at home on that field, that was a tough loss. However, they won the rebound. They're focused tonight. It should be a very interesting game against Borgia. All right, so over on the Borgia side, DJ, their head coach there, Dale uh, Gildenhaus, 35 years, DJ, at the head coach's spot. 1987, you might have been at Mizzou. He was the, he was the football coach here at, at uh well, I don't want to tell my age. I thought I was still in, <laughs> I thought I was in high school in 1987, but Kevin is telling my age. However, I mean, that's a commitment. Uh -huh. And Borgia has had the history of being pretty good, not only in football but in basketball. So they have tradition of being able to compete and having very good athletic programs. No question about it. Of course, you, you know about it, being a Mizzou Tiger yourself, names like Brock Olivo coming out of that program years ago. So, like you say, and Coach right there. This year he has a young team, though, DJ. They're very, very young. They're going to be uh, – they're going to be young, as he said. They're going to look to run the ball. They're probably 73rd like to run that ball if they can, power football. Yeah, but you know what? That's okay. They, they, they're going to have to get a rhythm. They have not been able to find a rhythm. They're 0-2. However, they're going to be very competitive. You cannot take anyone for granted. One day, that's all you got to do is have one good night. If you have one good night and you can have a very competitive game, you have an opportunity to be caught in a ritter. A very good athlete at quarterback. Uh, the quarterback, their sophomore, Cohen Zeltman. Yes, uh, he's a very good quarterback, and uh, he can play. He's smart. I like how he thinks, and I like how he controls the whole dynamic of the offense. All right, we're going to turn it over now to our PA addresser, uh, Coach Cooper, as he uh, has the PA announcements for tonight's game. And your Lions of Cardinal Ritter College Prep. Would everybody please stand for the playing of the national anthem and remain standing for prayer.
I'm thinking about something. All right, we are back at the action here at the Lions Den. Kevin Pulley with Demetrius Johnson, DJ. Uh, man, great night for football. We hear a lot, but look at it. I mean, beautiful night, light shining, great crowd here, and it's high school football. I mean, you cannot ask for a better night, man. I mean, the weather is perfect. The fans are excited. The Lions Den. We're in the den with the Lions, man. We're going to see what happens. It's about to get busy up in there, and I'm excited. So, boys, just getting set to kick off to the Lions. Uh, tonight's officials, the referee is Curtis Brown. The umpire is Chad Dagley. The linesman is Evan Cooper. Line judge, Travis Nelson. And the back judge is Mike Grutter. So we're just about set as the Lions are ready to roll. Look out for them, DJ, as one of their deep threats is back to Frederick Moore. You talked about him in the pregame. You and I also had a discussion with uh, Coach Spain about him. He's very dangerous back there to receive uh, for the Ritter Lions. So we'll see. Lately, teams have been kicking the ball away, so we'll see where this one goes. And it's going to be fielded at the 10. And coming up to the right side, the Lions have it. And getting some good yardage before finally being taken out of bounds just across the 35. And on that return uh, for the Lions, they'll, they'll put it in play, and we're in good shape. P.J. Beasley will get the start today. D.J. at quarterback, he's been impressive in his first two games. Yeah, the thing I like about P.J. Beasley, his composure and his ability to run the offense. And, you know, when you have a guy who could – could, could have composure and run an offense, man. You feel real good about his ability of making things happen. He's a true leader for Ritter. All right, so the they'll spot the ball at the 37 for the Lions. They'll have a first and 10. Lions in those black jerseys with the black pants, with the burgundy helmets and numbers. They hand off. This is Miller up the middle. Good run. Artrell Miller running strong. Headed down the sidelines. He's going to take this one to the house for the touchdown from scrimmage. 63 yards. Oh, my goodness. You're talking about big-time players making big-time plays a big-time game. Oh, my goodness. Artrell Miller, he gets the ball. He bounces outside, and nobody could catch him, big fella. They was on his back. He left everybody yeah. standing. That was a big-time run. That's the statement that Cardinal Ritter is saying, we're here, and we're going to play, and we're explosive. No question about it. Give the credit to the offensive line, right, DJ? A huge hole for him on that left side. That yeah, left side, what they did, they came and they trapped, and they, 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 they brought down inside, had him to bounce it outside. He bounced it outside, able to take the contain man and make him come inside also, bounce it outside the contain man, take it down the side for six. Big time run. All right, so Artrell Miller, he goes 63 yards for the score. And just like that, the Lions uh, are on the board. They're going to kick the extra point. Now it is uh, loose and now Frederick Moore is going to take it. And he fumbles it in the end zone. And Borcher fumbles it. <laughs> the Lions get it, and I think it's being blown dead now. So uh, a lot taking place with, with that, DJ. So they come up unsuccessful on the two-point conversion. But what a great run, Artrell Miller, with that run from scrimmage. If this any indication, I tell you, of what Cardinal Ritter is going to do, we better buckle our seatbelts. <laughs> because I'm telling you what, I mean, that was so fast. I cannot recall a game where the first run, I think this is, it ain't made history in my life today. This is the first time that since we've done high school football games in years that a, a the first run from the line of scrimmage take it in from a touchdown. That's the first time I've ever witnessed that. That was big. That's big time. Oh, that's big. 27 seconds in, DJ, and the Ritter lines are already on the board here. Yeah, and, and that could be, you know, deflating to Borgia. It's going to be very interesting to see how Borgia come back from that because, you know, when that happened to you, you're already 0-2. You got beat, you know, sound – Soundly last week in the game. Now you come to the den and they kick right off the kickoff and get a handoff and take it to the house. That can be very deflating early. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so the Lions will get set to kick it here. As Tillman will kick the ball off and it is going to be taken, fielded at about the 15 for the Knights of Borgia. And they'll get it up across the 25 and they'll have it. First and 10 spotted at the 28-yard line of Borgia. That's where they'll get in business and get going here. So quick action, just like that out the gate. 
before you get in your seat good and uh, hey, it's the score here. Yeah, I mean, I was just about to drink some water and they scored. <laughs> so I'll tell you, that was really fast. Really but, super now, fast. The key here is Borgia, can Borgia respond? This is going to be key. We're talking about key components of a game or key elements of the game or times of the game. This is it right here. Borgia got to get the ball and they got to take some time off this clock and they got to control offensively. Let's see how the offensive line play against this very good defensive line for Cardinal Ritter. So they'll start at first and 10 from the 29. The quarterback's going to make the throw and he'll get up the uh, alley for a couple of yards. He got that one to their receiver. We talked about uh, Nathan Kell in the beginning. And he gets a gain on the pass, gets yeah, about five on the play. I actually give him six up to the 25. Yeah, Nathan yeah. Kell makes a good catch coming off, but the defense back over that comes off and make a excellent play in the open field. That, that, you know, that's responsive, and that's getting off the play and making a play and understanding what you're seeing. Great job by, by Jones. So gain of six, we'll call it second and four market at the 25 for the Knights of Borgia, and they'll operate out of the shotgun with their quarterback. Looks like they have made a switch at the quarterback spot and gone back to the, the, and the we were told they were gonna rotate a lot with the quarterback position with the Roaring. And they give up the middle for a short gang as Roaring is in. And DJ, they, they will alternate quarterbacks. They play a, a two quarterback system like that um, with Roaring. And he, now he's actually going to stay in the game now. But uh, you, you'll see him rotate between Roaring and Zeltman, the two quarterbacks like that. Yeah, but what I like, I like how the defensive line of Ritter is getting off the ball. I mean, they're penetrating. They make it very difficult for Borgia to get started. And that's what you want to do. You want to penetrate and not let Borgia go downhill. This is, I'm telling you, we're going to put an asterisk by this, this play right here because Borgia must get a first down to keep that momentum away from uh, Ritter. Loss of two, third and seven. Uh-oh, quarterback drops the ball, and he is going to be sacked now. Hit as Mike Tillman came up the middle, and he also got some help on that play, DJ, uh, from some of his other, uh, his other linebacking mate on that outside. They came up and, and made that tackle, uh, getting over there to help him out over there. Uh, was, uh, you know, that was Mike Tillman on, on the tackle there. Very good heads-up play by Mike Tillman. It was a bad snap. Tillman kept his eyes on the ball and made a nice play getting the quarterback in the backfield. Good job by Tillman. So punting situation coming up for the Borgia Knights as they're going to go three and out. And the dangerous Frederick Moore back deep, DJ. Like to see him run. Don't, don't know if he's going to kick it to him. We get a timeout here. And we'll get a yeah, timeout right here with our score. It is Cardinal Ritter, six, and Borgia, the Knights of Francis Borgia, uh, zero right now. And, uh, boy, I tell you, that defense of Cardinal Ritter, they, they really were getting after it on, on, on the Borgia offense. Yeah, but what you want to do, you want to be very aggressive. You know, if you, if you are Cardinal Ritter, you're going to continue to put pressure up front. You're going to send those backers. You're going to make him. Very difficult for Borgia because now that first series that Cardinal Ritter got the ball, they took it downfield and scored a touchdown. Now, in their mind, you're talking about Borgia mind, they're kind of deflated already. Now, they did not move the ball, did not get a first down. This punt return is going to be very important. They get a good punt return on this one. Man, this thing could be over early. That's it. Look for them, DJ, oh, yeah. uh, to punt this one away from Moore. They have shown in the past other teams. I know watching them on film, they really want to get this one away from them. He's very explosive. They get it. There's the punt coming. And it's going to go out of bounds. So there will be no return for Moore. But very good field position for the Lions. They'll, in fact, will be uh, deep, or not deep, but they'll be in good field position at the 45-yard line of uh, Borgia. Well, I tell you what, man, if Riddick scored right here, man, I'm going to tell you, you better go ahead and turn off the lights. This party going to be over. <laughs> I'm telling you because of the, the momentum and the, the uncertainties of Borgia. And, you know, right now you're not feeling good. You just got scored on quick. This is going to be another Astrid series for me for Cardinal Ritter and Borgia. All right. So first and 10 now for the Lions at the 45 of Borgia. P.J. Beasley operating out of the shotgun. Beasley. Going to give this one over to Moore. Here's Frederick Moore <laughs> with that speed, and he gets it across the 40 up to the 36. Folks, let me tell you something. 
Moore, he put that baby in low gear. You see how fast he got up the field. And that, that, anybody else, that might have been a two-yard gain. He almost took that baby to the house. Shows you his explosiveness and his ability to get up field. That's what you want. That's what kind of player he is. Oh, he's a big-time player, baby, making big-time plays. Gain of eight on the pass reception, DJ. Second and two now from the 36. Now for the Lions. Beasley will throw. He gets the pass. He's got a first down, and... Good pass as he got that one out to uh, Marvin Burks, and we talked about him with Coach Spain today. Marvin Burks really recruited at that uh, cornerback side, but a good reception there, D. Yeah, what I like about uh, uh, Beasley, Beasley ability in the pocket. I mean, he's very poised. He gets the ball out quick. So first and ten. This is Miller again. Miller running this time up the middle. They were able to stop him. He didn't get loose like he did on that first play from scrimmage. Just uh, the explosiveness of Miller, the thing I like about his ability, he keeps his head up, and he gets through the hole. He does not hesitate when he gets the ball. He gets the ball, and he run downhill. That's what you want. You want your running back running downhill. That's exactly what you're getting from Miller. Second down and six at the 25. Beasley. It's the handoff and a short gain as on the carry that time was Cameron Harris for the Lions. Great play by number 47. I think it was 47. I can't really see his number for um, boards. He comes off the end, the end and makes a nice play. All right. Third down. The Lions to oh, throw. Man. And yes, it's sir. a touchdown. Yes, sir. Got it to you, man. You talked about yes, Frederick sir. Moore for the touchdown. That's what I call sweet. Yes, sir, baby. Oh, man, the touchdown. quarterback Beasley stands in the pocket and throw that baby on a rope to Frederick Moore. you talking about some beautiful hands. His hands are soft as cotton, big fella. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Big-time player, baby. Making a big-time play in a big-time game. Oh, my goodness. Frederick Moore, tremendous athlete, four-star recruit, uh, well, I tell you, his coach, Coach Bain, talks so much about him. High snap here, and the Lions aren't going to make it on this two-point attempt as well. This one will come up uh, short. But Frederick Moore, uh, just talk about speed, quickness, and he's got that size. Looks like that receiver. The, the thing I like about Moore, his ability to, to separate. Uh, he came off the line of scrimmage, and he ran a slant pattern. But the slant pattern, he just separated so fast. The quarterback, Beasley, took his time, threw that baby right there on the strike. I mean, just, oh, it was beautiful. That's what you call just, you know, pass and catch, man. I mean, that is so unbelievable. How can you stop that kind of offense when you got players with that kind of ability who can make plays like that? He's big time. He is really, really big time. All right. So the Lions out the gate quick. 534 to go here in the first quarter. And the Lions of Cardinal Ritter. 12 and Francis Borgia zero right now. This is uh, this is certainly not what uh, what the Borgia Knights were expecting, but the, the Ritter Lions feeling real good getting out the gate uh, with a lot of jump in the leg and two quick scores. They scored just 27 seconds into the game on a 63 uh, yard run by Artrell Miller, and then they come back with a touchdown reception to Frederick Moore. I don't know if Borgia expected to be down this fast. However, they knew it was going to be very difficult coming and playing a very good, talented Cardinal Ritter team. This team is really good and very, very competitive and, and very talented. I mean, they're going to play at a high level. So when you come in to what they call the den, you're going to have to be able to play hard and, and heads up football and be able to compete at a high level if you're planning on beating Ritter at home. So Mike Tillman set to kick it off again. And Nathan Kell is back deep for the Knights of Borgia. And they're coming up looking for their second possession. High kick. This one's going to be taken by Kell and get a flag. You see what happened on that one, DJ? I think one of the uh, offensive guys went past the line for too fast. Ah. Yeah. So offside on the uh, yes. kicking team? Uh-huh. All right. That can't happen, right? You get that All the time. <laughs> when the adrenaline flowing, you're at home, you're up 12 nothing in the first quarter, 
and you want to continue to to pile on and make a play. And, and, and let me tell you something. Kickoff teams can make a player. If you can get on a kickoff team, a kick return team, get a nice block or a nice return, a nice tackle, I mean, that gets the coach to look at you. Sure. Some of these young players on a kickoff team, man, this is an opportunity to show the coach, hey, coach, I can play. Take advantage of it. Right? And when you're a young team like Borgia, certainly uh, you want to do that. This one's going to be short this time. And oh, man. Be, oh, it's loose. I already got it. Let's yeah, see. Ritter got it. Ritter does have it? Yes. All right, so the Lions. The Lions have the ball. Wow. Wow. And they're going to have it at the 36-yard line. Turnover, Lions football. I checked that. They uh, make it the 20. Yeah, the 26. Wow, so two quick scores and a turnover, DJ. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about being deflated. This, this, this right here will take the game, take all the win out of the cell of this Borgia team because they have the ability to strike quick. Boy, now, if I'm Cardinal Ritter, I'm going to my big-time player. You know who I'm throwing it to. I'm going to Moore. Let him make a play downfield. All right, first and 10 lines at the 26. Beasley will operate out of the shotgun. This is Miller, our trail with a big gain up the right side. We do get a flag down on the play. See what this call will be. Holding. DJ gives me the preliminary call, a hold against the Lions. We'll move them back. Well, they blocking up front. You got to get a big boys. I, I like the big dogs. I like the big dogs up front. They are letting the little dogs eat. You got to appreciate that like that's happening. They are blocking up front and doing an outstanding job letting the little dogs eat. Big dogs, let the little dogs eat. That's exactly what this <laughs> offensive line is doing for Cardinal Ritter. They're very talented up front. You can have to appreciate it, man. They're big, athletic, and can move. And I think a lot of times we don't focus on that offensive line. They are so good. That allows this team to be so explosive. All right, so it'll be first and 20 now at the 35 for Beasley. Beasley with a little dump pass. Gets it off on the left side and some good yardage. Helmet comes off, but a good play on that left side as they work it up the field uh, with the pass to Cameron Harris. Nice play by Harris. It's just like what you call a slip screen. Just slipped him out, fake you're going to throw to the right, come back to the left. Dump it to Harris. He gets upfield and make a nice play. That's a great call and great pickup. Gets it up. Gain of 15. It'll be second and five now. They spot it inside the 20 at the 19. Oh, going goodness. to the right side. And they're going to go in for the touchdown. They're going to call it back. They're going to call holding on the offensive lineman for Ritter. I'm believing that's what they're going to call. Okay. So you, you saw the hold of the, the flags, well, right? Well, he threw it right by the big offensive lineman. I don't know if he's calling a hole in them on, on mm -hmm. him. I don't know. It may go against uh, Boise because I don't see anything happening. Our referee's Thank Curtis man. Brown. Oh, wow. They oh, wow. call a face mask. Touchdown. Oh, okay. What face happened, man. the defensive lineman was coming in, and he grabbed the offensive lineman's face mask. And threw him down. That's a good call by the official because the back judge right here, he threw the, threw the flag. So it was face mask from the uh, defensive lineman. All right. So Cameron Harris then good on the 35-yard touchdown run. And the Lions uh, looking for two here right now to extend that lead, trying to get their – their third opportunity here for the two-point. They take it to the right side, and it is good. So they get the two-point in as they take it around the right side and get the two points. And just like that, the Ritter Lions are out the gate, only 249 in. And uh, they are up now by a score of 20-0, to zero, Cardinal Ritter Lions. Oh, and what you can appreciate what, what Coach Spain has done, he's gotten his team back refocused. You know, they lost the game. But he's got his team focused. He's saying, hey, guys, you know, we're good. And you got to act like you're good. You're going to lose some games, but that's okay. Now, when you get an opportunity to play at home, play in front of your, your, your fan base and your family, 
you want to play at a high level. And today, tonight, they are playing at a high level. Cardinal Ritter, they have dominated up front. The defense and offensive line for Ritter, it's just been just spectacular tonight. Offensively, they running the ball downhill, throwing the ball with the quarterback, Beasley, and he's throwing it downfield to Moore. And defensively, they just wrecking havoc in the backfield for Borgia. They really have. You ever seen a team with the kind of, they have that kind of the swerve on the kickoff? You've seen that before, DJ? Well, they got the swerve now, big fella. <laughs> Okay. All right, so Tillman's kick on the right side. A uh, flag, a couple of flags come in late. Yeah, what they're going to call, they're going to say unnecessary on the uh, the defender because he was going for the ball. The ball was missed, was loose, and he went in it, but he went down with his helmet first and hit the, the uh, return man, and they're going to call that unnecessary roughness. Unnecessary roughness. Okay, so Francis Borgia will have it here. They'll have their third possession. Possession five, long time. 15 yards from the end of the run. First down. All right, again, our referee tonight is Curtis Brown. You got a chance to hear him right there. So DJ right there on the call as well, and the ball's going to be first and 10 for Borges. They'll start this time at the thir at their own 38-yard line. Yeah, and Borgia, if I'm Borgia, i got to try to establish some type of run. You know you can't pass because that defensive line is so physical. They're coming up. you got to do some like a, a quick – if you want to do some, I do quick screens. I try to do toss. I, you know, because that front line of Cardinal Ritter is playing just big ball up top. And the linebackers are filling the gap. So first down and 10 nights from the 38. Rorick at quarterback. He hands off and not much running room at all on the right side that time. Not much room out. Maybe they will lose a yard on that play. You, you got to give Cardinal Ritter off defensive linemen credit. I mean, they have not gotten budged yet. They're maintaining the integrity of the line of scrimmage, meaning they're not budging. Borgia is doing everything they can. Borgia got to come with some quick hits. You got to do some quick screens. You got to get try to quick pop slant routes or something like that because this – Cardinal Ritter defense is so physical and so fast, it's creating all kind of havoc for the quarterback and the running backs. That was Vollmer on the carry, and give him a yard, well, a yard on the play. Call it second and nine. Rorick, and flag comes in. A lot of laundry here early on, DJ. Yeah, well, you know what? No, that's like uh, what Borgia was trying to do. Borgia was trying to throw what I said, a quick hitch. That's the only kind of way they're going to be able to move the ball and do anything in this game. They're going to have to do some quick hits. They got to do some, some, some toss. They're going to have to try to loosen that defensive line up because the defensive line is just, you know, pinning their ears back and just going forward and going downhill. That's creating a lot of problems for the quarterback. Okay. So the offside call goes against the Lions. Still a uh, first down here. Rorick back there. Here comes pressure, and boy, he uh, got it off. But, man, did the blitz come up the middle, DJ? Oh, no, that blitz came like a rocket from the outside. They, they're trying to set up a screen. You know, try to set up a screen. Like I said, you got to come with screens. However, you got to come with a quick screen. See, that they were trying to let the defensive line come in and then slip out the running back. Boy, that blitz come from the outside and put a lot of pressure on them. Made it very difficult, and it came from the outside. And I tell you what, man, that was a good defensive call. That's almost been a sack and an interception. Certainly was. Third down now for the Knights. Third and seven. No snap. Warwick, pressure coming. Gets it off and incomplete, trying to go to the right side. Boy, the, 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 the heat was coming that time, DJ. Ritter said, we're going to put a lot of pressure on you. That was a blitz. Again, they blitzed two times in a row coming from the left the, the first time, this time coming from the, the right side, blitzing the outside backer and putting him in, putting pressure on the quarterback, not allowing the quarterback to stay in the pocket and feel comfortable, but putting pressure on him and not having him, allowing him to make quick decisions. The second and four. So, punting situation for the Knights. They get it off, and this one 
He is going to go out of bounds. They definitely aren't going to kick it to Frederick Moore, DJ. They're not going to lie. He returns there. So it'll go out of bounds. And the Lions will get their fourth possession. They'll start this time at the 34. I guess Moore should say, we got to make, make our mind up. Who do we want them to beat us first? Do we want them to beat us you know, on the return? Or do we rather tell them to take the ball and take time off the clock? Because right now, Borgia has no answer for Ritter. Cardinal Ritter is doing an outstanding job being very physical, getting up the field and making plays. The defense and offense is playing at a high level tonight. Certainly are. We're at uh, 47 seconds to go in the quarter and ticking down. We might not get this play. Well, this will probably be the last play of the quarter here. Where the Lions, as they started, uh, yes, at right. the 34. First and 10. Keep going. Heading yeah, off the left side. Good yardage. Still on his feet. Still moving. Up the field. Still going. This one might take it to the house. He will go and score. What a run down that left side. Just kept going touchdown. and picking up speed oh, as Jamorian yeah. Parker for the touchdown. No, he didn't, big fella. Touchdown, oh, Jamorian Parker. Can goodness. I get a lion? Oh, my goodness. Jamorian Parker Brian. did a big time. Oh, he gets the ball. And he does a great job in seeing a vision. What I can appreciate, I don't know if they're bringing it back. Yeah, it looks, oh, like, they bring it looks back. like there is a flag down right. now. Well, let me say that was a great run. The vision, the cutback, the ability to make something happen. Now, let me just say this. Blocking the back. I don't okay. know about that play. Let me tell you why I have a problem with this. Okay. That block in the back had nothing to do had, would have nothing to do with the outcome of that run. Okay. I think officials sometimes got to just let the play play. You know, now, if it had something to do with what's happening, then you could call that. But that run was a beautiful run. Mm -hmm. The ability to, to change directions, get upfield, show explosiveness. Everything you ask of a running back, you just saw it. You oh, you my goodness. That was big time. That was a big time run. Jamorian Parker <laughs> on the carry for the Lions. Comes back, though, so the Lions will be... At the spot, they'll be at the forty, at the forty-eight yard line. They'll have it there now. First and ten. And that's the end of the first quarter. Your Cardinal uh, Ritter Lions part. lead Borgia twenty to nothing. This is the Cardinal Ritter score. They're laying it twenty no, no, to no, no, no. Borgia zero. We'll take a break. This is Zulu Sports and DJ CFTV. Painters, decorators, and Walls Foundation. In 1974, their legacy is the Painting and Decorating Foundation. Since then, PDF has represented all the St. Louis Area Union painting, wall covering, and dry taping contractors that are signatory to the collective bargaining agreement with Painters District Council No. 2. Painters, decorators, and Walls Foundation. 1999 Styles Clothing Company has introduced innovative design and fashion to the marketing and promotional world. We specialize in screen printing, embroidery, and corporate promotional items. Small to Fortune 500 companies have sought the services of Styles Clothing Company. Equipped with a remarkable staff, Styles Clothing Company is prepared to meet all of your apparel and promotional needs. Styles Clothing. And we're back at the Lions Den, D.D., where it's all Cardinal Ritter Lions in that first quarter. Your thoughts on it? Well, I just think Cardinal Ritter did exactly what they wanted to do in the first quarter. They came out, they played physical. Offensively, they played explosive. The defense was running and surrounding the ball. That's what you want your team to do. They played tough in every aspect of the, of the game. So first down for the Lions. And up the middle with the run. Uh, Still on his feet, finally driven back as it was a strong run up there. As Demorian Parker, whose run was called back that, before right. on the carry that time. Who thought you needed a lion sound? Boys, you got to feel comfortable. Oh, I think that, that was the best <laughs> defensive stop they've had this whole game thus far. I mean, which, you know, it's, it's, it's a compliment to them because 
every time Cardinal really get the ball, they they taken off 15, 20 yards a time, particularly on the run. That time, Borgia did a good job maintaining the integrity of the line of scrimmage. Linebackers fill the hole, make a play. Now, Antoine McCray in at quarterback now, DJ, and the Coach Bang talked to you and I earlier today. We said we would see Beasley and uh, McKay alternate, so now he's getting a look at uh, McKay at the quarterback position. Good game. Game and the uh, game penalty coming up finish, against the Lions. Repeat and sometimes early on, D, you'll, you'll, as we've seen with both teams, yeah. the, the coaches are still uh, deciding yeah. who's going to be the quarterback to lead the team here, right? Yeah, and, you know, and, and they're going to have to make a decision because both of these are very good quarterbacks, and they, they can make plays. The coach is going to say, okay, this is who I'm going with the rest of the year because the game's going to get a lot more difficult. So McKay to throw it this time. Gets it off to the right side, and good yardage up the middle. Big gain and a first down on the carry. Who was that? No, three. Mm -hmm. With a big gain there for the Lions. Reception made by Alonzo Smith, Smith for Cardinal Ritter. First down. I tell you what, I was really impressed with the offensive line. They got downfield and made some nice blocks to make that play work. That's great running by that offensive line. Okay, to the right side on the run. Lions still running hard. Oh, my goodness. Working the right side. Big gank. Oh and for the goodness. end zone. Nice work. And, boy, stopped right at the two-yard line. What a run on that right side. Everything is clicking right now for the Lions, DJ. Well, I tell you what, the offensive line, uh, they are doing an outstanding job for real. I mean, they are maintaining the integrity. they blowing folks back. The running backs, you know, this week of, of school, they should buy the lineman lunch. I'll tell you what, they are blocking at a, at a high level tonight, man. They are really doing a good job. Black. Ten yards from the start of down. So that was coming back as uh, that was Cameron Harris on the run, but it's it's going to come back. Cameron Harris, man, boy, you know they running backs got some explosiveness. They able to get upfield and just make it happen. They blocking them, open the holes up, but those running backs of Ritter, they are really just hitting those holes. They really are. So McKay throwing for the end zone and too far this time. He was, he was trying to get it to his receiver. Moore over there just overthrew him that time. If, if you're a defensive back, which I, I played defensive back yes. 100 years ago, right? <laughs> and you're going against a guy like Moore, you just hope you don't catch the ball. You know you can't stop him. So when they throw the ball, he's just, just hoping and praying, oh, please overthrow him. I know I can't <laughs> run with this guy. There's no one in this stadium could run with Moore. That's what kind of ability and explosiveness he has. Second down now for the Lions. McKay fakes it, throws it, and tipped up, and it is intercepted by the Knights of Borgia. Down the left side, and the first turnover as on that interception for the Knights, uh, their defensive back, we talked about him in the game, in the, in the opening, and uh, nice pickup for, uh, this is the uh, backup quarterback we talked about, Cohen Zeltman, who's playing DB, and he intercepted a tip ball there, DJ. Yeah, well, that's what you need to do. They needed a play. And that's what happened. I mean, you got to catch the ball. If it hits your hand, coaches always tell you, if you, the ball touch your hand, you better catch it. <laughs> I mean, they didn't catch it. And, you know, great response. Cool. By the D back, he gets it, takes it upfield for a return. That is something that boys you needed. I mean, they really need yeah, something it. positive before they go in halftime. Because if you go in halftime yeah, and, and you have not scored, you have not had any turnovers, nothing, man, that's just so deflating. Because right now, you need something to give you some type of confidence. So Zeltman on the interception. Now he's going to be rewarded. He's going to play quarterback, DJ. And hands this one off up the middle. Not much going room at all. Boy, great reaction from the front of the Lions that time. Boy, I tell you, that, that, the defensive front reacted very, very well to that. And that play goes uh, for, for no gain up the middle that time. As, uh, give a lot of credit uh, to the front four of the Lions and Charles Brooks making that tackle. You talk about textbook. That's what you call a textbook defensive line surge. The defensive line surge, and boy, they put it back there and allow the linebackers to come and clean that baby up. That's what you call teamwork. Great job by Ritter. 
So we'll say no gain. Second and 10 now for the Knights. Mark it at the 40 for them. Zeltman trying to keep it himself. And wow, nowhere to go. Great reaction. That's Marvin Burt coming up making that play. Coach talked about him today, DJ. Yeah, let let, let me tell you something about Marvin Burks. Explosiveness. That's what I'm saying. Quickness. Can make a play. I mean, he's a big time player, baby. He is a big time player and he made a play. Bounce off the play, come in, show his explosiveness, get the running back in the backfield with a quarterback. He can't even get rid of the ball. That's what you need. You got that kind of explosiveness on your defensive line and your linebackers and your D backs can run. That is what you call a heck of a defense. Great job by Burks. So Zeltman comes back third down now and 13 has trips receivers to the left side for Zeltman, the sophomore. He's going to swing it out, and this one's incomplete. Tried to get it out there to his uh, wide receiver on that left side. Uh, and that will bring up a punting situation. That was Alec Regal he was trying to get that to. So fourth down now for the Knights. Well, what's happening, the defensive line has put so much pressure on the quarterback that he's just discombobulated, man. He's just dropping back there, don't know what to do with the ball because of the pressures coming. And you got to give credit to that defensive line. They are putting a lot of pressure on the quarterback and not allowing him to sit in the pocket and feel comfortable. The punt coming, and this one's going to be returned by the Knights. Oh, man. Uh, move oh, up man. the right side. Oh, man. Still on his feet. Oh, oh, Still oh, going. No, he He's going to take it. No, he didn't. For the touchdown. No, he didn't. <laughs> I know he didn't do that one. Marlon Jones. It didn't happen. It couldn't have. He had no, to I'm step out of bounds. There oh. is a flag down, DJ. Oh, man. Marlon Jones, talk about the athleticism of that. Let me tell you some officials, you should pick that flag up because that's just too beautiful. That was my Picasso. <laughs> that was my Picasso play of the game right there, man. You're talking about a big-time play by a big-time player making a big-time That was a Picasso. I always give a Picasso out in one of the games. That's my Picasso right wow. there. Oh, my goodness. That was what you said, beautiful art. It was. That was Picasso, baby. That was a big time play, man. He looked like a oh, hurdler that goodness. time in the Olympics or something with You're that. You're talking one. about just the talent? <laughs> the talent on this team? This Cardinal Ritter team has some major talent, man. I mean, the plays they're doing, just the unbelievable body movement. I mean, the contortion of their bodies are crazy. It's about the third block in the back here, DJ. Hey, man. Hey, hey, officials, do me a favor. Stop throwing the flags because this is just, that was just too beautiful. That was just too beautiful of a run to throw a flag. Even if you saw the guy do it, he just got to hold that one. It was just too, I was captivated by watching it. Yeah, the elevation. Of the, I mean, oh, oh, my goodness. I think he's got, a, he's got a career in the hurdles if he's not oh, already running. Oh, my you know? goodness. <laughs> Folks, if you had not had a chance to see this Cardinal Ritter team, you are seeing something that's very special. They are very talented, and they got some players who can go get it and play football. Oh, my goodness. All right, so we've got a timeout on the field, and the uh, Lions will take one as well. This is High School Football on Zulu Sports, presented by DJCF-TV. Crown Mart, your friendly community one-stop service station and convenience store. Short on time? Look no further. Crown Mart has you covered. Stop by and see us today. Crown Mart. TJ Weeks, demonstrating the excellence of leadership, providing labor, materials, and excellence in craftsmanship. Our attention to detail and project completion in a timely manner has helped us grow to an exceptional rate. TJ Weeks. All right, we're back here at the Lions Den. Demetrius Johnson and Kevin Pulley. Seven minutes, 12 seconds to go, seven second quarter. And it has been the Ritter Lions tonight. One of the things about it, whenever you come to a Cardinal Ritter football game, DJ, you get a lot of excitement from the 
Spain family. Oh, boy, look at this run on the left side. This is Marvin Burke's going to take this one to the 20. Look at the cut oh inside. He's goodness. in for the touchdown. Oh, my goodness. Touchdown. Oh, my Marvin goodness. Burks. Oh, big time <laughs> player, baby. Making a big time play in a big time Burks. game. Marvin Burke, you're a big time player. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He just get it on the lucky sweep. He take that baby up the field. Hit see the Why run lane, hit the run lane, and put that baby in low gear and take it to the house. Take it to the bank and cash it in, baby. Take it to the bank. Oh, my goodness. Boy, that was some of Now, you know, we just had seen the play that was called back. We thought that was something with the oh, hurdling. My. And then Marvin Burks comes back with the cutback. I mean, this is just ridiculous, the talent that Cardinal Ritter has over here. It's unbelievable. 55-yard oh, touchdown run. Burks now. The line's on for the two-point. And looks like they're going to be short this time. So they come up unsuccessful on the two-point. Yeah. They get the six, though, from Marvin Burks on the run. No good. You know, Make some noise for your it's Marvin just Ryan. amazing when you see this kind of athleticism and the ability how Coach Spain has gotten this team playing at a high level early. I mean, this is early. This is third game. And they playing at a high level. Can you imagine what is going to be another two, three games? This team is going to be very difficult to beat in their conference. The AA's conference. Uh, it's going to be very, very difficult because they have the ability. If they stay healthy and, and, and nobody get injured, that's when you know that you got a very good team. When you could go and, and, and play a team in Joliet and you lose by 10 points to a high-profile team, but you come back home and you get your mind right and you get ready again because it's not many teams that's going to go undefeated. That's right. It's not how you do after you win a game. It's how you do after you lose a game and react the next game. And they're showing, uh, hey, the maturity no, right and the senior-related team out here that they can play at a high level. And they're showing it. Mike Tillman getting set to kick off. Back deep. It's Will Horror for the Knights. And this will be horror. He's going to take it from his own five. Up the middle. And, boy, he hit hard oh, at the man. 20. That's what I call a hammer time. <laughs> I was going to say, it might Ooh, be a hammer man. time. Man. Oh, my goodness. They are playing at all phases at a high level. That was Marlon Jones, number five. That was my hammer time hit. Oh, my goodness. He brought the wood on that one, didn't he? Hammer time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No question about it. Five, or excuse me, six twenty-two to go. Her second yeah, quarter. It's been the Ritter Lions on a roll, up by twenty-six right now. And in view Borgia, you just got to make something. At least take, yeah, take time off the clock. You got to be able yeah, to know. do something to slow the game down, where you can maintain possession of the ball for a few <laughs> minutes and give your defense time to try to, you know. Get some kind of breath, air, or something. Because right now, you're putting that defense right back on the field quickly. And this Cardinal Ritter offense is at another level. They're performing well. They're blocking up front. Running backs are running hard. Receivers are catching the ball. Quarterbacks are making good decisions. Both the quarterbacks in. It's going to be very difficult for Borgia to get back into this game. All right. So first and 10 from the 20 now for the night says... Zoltman back at quarterback now for Borgia. Hands off up the middle. Short gain as he hands that one to his running back. Volman, not much room there. Number 36 uh, who makes the carry. Not much room there. Good defensive reaction. Yeah, and the D, D lineman comes up field, and you think he's running past the play, and his – Ability to react and make the play, come back and make that play. That was really, that was really athletic. That was a very athletic move. Running back like almost passed him, and he was able to react quickly and come back and make a tackle. That was a very nice play. We'll say no gain, DJ. Call it second and ten from the twenty now for the Knights. Zutman at quarterback. Zutman, boy, here comes the blitz coming. Boy, from that right side, Tillman was coming and. Almost picked off. Boy, Mike Tillman from his, from his safety spot came with the heat from that right side. Yeah, I mean, he came around that corner. 
I am thinking, oh, if the quarterback holds that ball for another second, oh, he's going to have a problem. But I, I give him credit. The quarterback stood in the pocket as long as he could. Uh, Zeltman and and held his composure as long as he could, Kevy. You got to give him credit. He threw yeah. the ball at the last minute, and he threw a strike. He did. The receiver dropped the ball. But that was, a, that was very poised for the quarterback. To Young do that. sophomore to hang in there like that's yeah. pretty impressive, right, yeah, DJ? it really was because I'm telling you, I felt the heat. I know he had to feel it. it down on him. I'm up in the press box, and I felt that heat coming on my back. <laughs> Third down now for Zeltman and the Knights from the 20, their own 20. Zeltman. Here comes oh. Zeltman again. This time, oh. he won't get away oh, from Tillman. And he's going to be sacked back at the 10. Same, it was same blitz, right? DJ same blitz. Seven. It's outside corner Sack. blitz. The Mike quarterback, Tillman. he tightens his back to Tillman, number 24. And he's trying to throw it. Tillman comes from the blind side. I am surprised that quarterback didn't fumble that ball on that one because Tillman came from nowhere. Nobody blocked him. You got to be able to move your line of scrimmage or roll your quarterback out to get him away from Tillman. Tillman came around that corner, number 24, cornerback, and bam, big time hit. So what do you have to do offensively to adjust? To bring somebody back, back in to slow Tillman down? <laughs> exactly. Here's the punt coming, and this one's going to take a Cardinal Ritter. Oh, bounce. my God. Oh, it's no, picked up, and he's going to no, go didn't. in and no, get the didn't. end zone. No, it he will be didn't. Eight. Oh, they're going to say he stepped oh, out at the goodness. four. They're going to say he stepped out at the four. No, he didn't. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. I done seen some things I've never seen in football <laughs> before today. Cardinal Ritter's playing and doing things I've never seen before. They are playing with a lot of confidence tonight, man. That was just heads up. It was. That's a great heads up play. Players were kind bounce. of standing Everybody's there. Everybody's standing around, think he's going to go out of bounds. Receiver gets it. Bam, takes that baby down the sideline. He's about to take that baby to the bank and cash it in. <laughs> that's great awareness. That's, you know, that's football IQ. We always talk about blocking, tackling, mm -hmm. but football IQ has to take a place in the game. That was football IQ right there. Yes, it was. Okay, so the Lions are in business. First and goal from the five for the Lions. Beasley back in at quarterback for the Lions. Beasley hands it. Going to the left side, and they're in. Touchdown. Took it right in. Is there a flag down? I'm trying to make sure there was no flag as uh, Jamarian Parker took it in for the score, but... No Just trying to make sure. Oh, it was a flag. Yep, it's yeah. flag down. Wait, no, oh, no, no, they're going to no, say no, it's good. Play. Okay. That's touchdown. Oh, touchdown is good. Jamarian Parker. Man. Man. Jamarian Parker. Yeah, let, me, let me tell you something. Parker hit that baby. He hit it like he was on I-70 or 44. <laughs> he hit that corner, took that baby down here to the house. Oh, man, he cash it in, big fella. Took it to the bank, cash it in. Oh, that was explosive. That was great blocking. We don't get an offensive line a lot of credit. The offensive line, the Cardinal Ritter folks, they are creating holes that I can run through. Boy, incredible. Here we go for two and to the right side. And they're in. there is a flag down. Uh, so we'll have to see what the call is. The is good, but flag on the play. As looks like uh, Parker was again on the carry, but let's see what's. They sorted out DJ here on the call. Curtis Brown, the referee, has been busy in this first half, DJ. I, I got to tell you this. It, it's very interesting uh, on two-point conversion. It's another team in our, in our region who don't ever kick extra points, and that's East St. Louis Flyers. The Flyers are very good. They never kick extra points. And after this play, I will tell you what Coach Sunka told me his philosophy was. And I know Coach Spain coached with him. Yeah. Maybe he picked that same philosophy up, and it's going to be very interesting to see yeah, that. I'd like to hear that. Let's see the call. Let's see if uh, uh, we're still trying to sort it out to see <laughs> what's going what's gonna to take place with the call on the two point as. Uh, Referee Curtis Brown is going to discuss it with the crew. And they are going to move it back to the seven now. So the Lions will get another attempt here. 
Well, yeah, I, I'm going to tell after this, after this extra point attempt here, I got to tell you his, the philosophy. And you can kind of see Coach Spain, like I said, he coached with Coach Darren Sunk, one of the best coaches in high school uh, in the region, in the country. And you can see some of his philosophy, how he runs the offense. But it's very interesting when they take on doing extra points. And I'll tell you after this. Okay, Beasley and the Lions for two. Beasley's going to keep it himself, and he's going to get it over to Parker. Parker trying to fight his way and can't get there. Well, let me tell you what, what Coach Sonkin, I kept asking Coach Sonkin about uh, no kicking extra points. And do you Georgia. think, if, if you think, do you Lion think you, you gotta, you're going to continue to kick extra points or whatever? And Coach Sonkin gave me this interesting philosophy. Okay. He told me, he said, well, let me just tell you this. He said, well, if we get a two-point conversion, if we miss one and we get one, we're doing 50% of what we have to do. He said, because even though we may miss one, if we get a two-point conversion, we made up for the one we missed, the extra point. And I'm like, I never thought about it like that. I never thought of it like that. <laughs> right? yeah, I'm like, that's true. That is true. I never thought of it. He said, so if we kick an extra point and it get blocked and we miss, but we go for a two-point conversion and we get it, it makes up for what we missed on an extra point. That's an interesting philosophy. Like, wow, that is interesting. It makes sense. It makes sense, but I don't know yeah. if I would go with it. <laughs> you know, right. I would at least have a kicker to try to do something. Uh, so I was like, wow, I would try to make sure that, I, I don't know, I would have to get me a kicker to kick that extra point or something. I don't know. Be sure to visit the stand. Now, that, that, right now that's now not affecting whether they kick field goals, though, right? Well, all of your I, I, I don't know if they kick field goals. I don't think East St. Louis kick field goals. Oh. They don't kick field goals nor extra points. <laughs> so they don't kick. No, they just kick the ball off and that's it. And then they go for two. And then the field goal. What they happens when you're in a tight ball game late and maybe you need three, but you can't, you can't get it. You three. can't do it. So they, they feel we going we get enough to score. And guess what? They've been they used to get enough to they score. They get enough to score, right. <laughs> so yeah. it's very interesting, that philosophy like that. Because I would never, I would have never put that philosophy together like that. I guess when you have that kind of talent, you, you don't have to worry much about field goals, like you said. Yeah, and, and you can kind of see some of the things that Coach Sonka did over in East St. Louis, how Coach Spain is doing it. Sure. I mean, just how he his team look. Just how, how the, the, the coaches, coaches uh, is coaching. I mean, and, and, and I had a conversation with Coach Spain, you know, and he told me, he said, hey, I, I, I play, I coached over in East St. Louis with Coach Sonka, and I know how they do it. Mm -hmm. I know how it is to be in the top uh, flight program, and I want my program to be top flight. And I'll tell you what, Coach, Boy, the coach is on his way of going there, man. I, I'm liking what he's doing over here at Cardinal Ritter. I mean, just the enthusiasm. You can just see the vibe in Cardinal Ritter, Hello. just the studio, the stadium, and just coming here, how yeah. people look at it differently. And, I mean, he's got some great talent out here, and then they're performing. And, and you, have to, you have to give him a lot of credit too, DJ, because he – you know, he came in in a tough situation. We we know about the uh, situation with suspension mm -hmm. of players. He comes into a new program, and then he takes them to the semifinals. First year yeah. as the head coach. Yeah, and, and, and you know, that is a testament of him. That's a testament of him. Because he did come in a very difficult situation. A lot of things happened with coaching and suspensions, and, and the program was almost d dissolved and things Absolutely. like that. He had to come back in and bring in some things to, to change, you know, some of the perception that people may have had over Cardinal Ritter. Because Cardinal Ritter, for a long time, has been a very good program. Very good program. And a very mm -hmm. honorable program. Oh, absolutely. And sometimes, you know, we make a mistake. Everybody can make a mistake. Sure. Well, how we respond from the mistake we made is that's a very important. One thing about it, like you say, DJ, you go in the hallways of Cardinal Ritter, man, do they have a lot of hardware in the trophy case. No doubt about it. Cardinal Ritter's a very good program and been just a big-time program for years. All right, here's Beasley. He's going to throw it and gets the two to Frederick Moore for the two points. Let me tell you why, that point Let me tell you why I'm impressed good. on that pass. Moore, Moore went as if he was going to run a fade pattern. Zero. To the left corner. Can I get a lion prize? You're thinking he's going to go to that lion corner prize? on that on that fade, but what it was, it was a back shoulder throw. 
He threw it on the back shoulder of him, and Moore was able to adjust to the ball and make a great throw. That, that's athleticism, and that's a card quarterback and a receiver on the same page. On the same page. That was a beautifully executed play. I mean, that, that's big time. I mean, that, that, what I just saw was pro. That was big time. That was pro. I, that, that was a, a Tom Brady. Right. Throw it on the backside. Yeah, back yeah, side on the back like side. That. I mean, that was beautiful. The backside corner. He threw it on the backside and then the back shoulder of the receiver. That was beautiful. And great adjustment by Moore. As he, a receiver, are you, yeah. you expect that on the backside like that too? In, in that route, you could tell he was throwing that baby on the All backside. Because right, Moore, even if he didn't Make expect it, he has the ability noise. and the athleticism to make the adjustment. That's what's really impressive about what I just saw. That was a great play. All right. So Man, Beasley that was nice. to Moore. <laughs> Yeah, Making it, completing it. So, 34-point lead now for the Lions with 3.05 to go in the second quarter. Mike Tillman, who's been busy kicking off in this first half, is getting set to go again. Well, I tell you, Tillman leg probably kind of tired, <laughs> big fella, because he's been kicking. And again, boys are a very young team, DJ. They yeah. were 9-4 and four a year ago. Yes. And so, you know, they had a really good season. Uh, you know, dealing with, the, of course, the COVID uh, situation and everything. So, you know, this is a rebuild. They had probably more than half the team graduated last year. So they're very young. And, you know, it, you, know it, you can understand why things have happened. They're developing. Well, well, that's why you have to commend the Darren Sonkers of the world in, in, in high school football because I mean, you're going to lose kids. It's how you continue to build the players on your team to play at a high level and get them to buy into what you're doing. And Coach Spain has brought that philosophy over here to, to Cardinal Ritter. He's gotten these young men playing at a high level. And they feel every time they step on the field, they should win. And that's how you want your team thinking. First and 10, Borgia at their own 24. Lions leading it by 34. Zoltmer to throw, and this one is incomplete over on the left, right side, excuse me. Looked like he was trying to go to his receiver on the right side, trying to get that over there. And came up just short on that. Trying to get it to Parks uh, over there. A, a lot of times, you know, you don't even think about the defensive line, you know, because, you know, the, the D-backs, the linebackers, they get all the praise and the credit. Man, this defensive line of Cardinal Ritter is pretty freaking good. I mean, they're getting off that ball. When that ball is snapped, man, I'm just loving the pressure they're putting up there, and they're making it very difficult for Zoltman to stand in the, uh, the pocket and throw the ball. They're putting a lot of pressure up front, and that's what you want. You want your D-line to get off the ball, put pressure on the quarterback. So Zoltman, second down now for the Knights. Zoltman. Swing to that right. Oh, boy. Burks with a big hit over on that side as Parks made the reception. And Ooh. Marvin Burks right there for the big tackle. Boy, I tell you what, man. Burks, he's bringing the lumber tonight, baby. He is bringing the lumber. He is all over the field making plays, coming off the ball, reading the quarterback. And, you know, that's what you got. You got to read, recognize, and react. He's reading. He's recognizing the route. And he's reacting to it and making plays. And that's a great tackle in the backfield. Great job. I tell you, on the on that blind side, too, Mike Tillman was there again, DJ. I, I don't know if the boys is going to make an adjustment, but he, uh, Zoltman's doing good to get that ball off because Mike Tillman's <laughs> continuing to come from that blind side. Man, Mike Tillman's got a, just an open door. He's a, what, it's an open door policy? <laughs> I mean, he is coming from the back end of it. Zoltman to operate third down now. Get a wheel route. Zoltman pressure. Zoltman's going to keep this one and run. Get some running room up the right side. It's going to be short. And so, let's see, no flags are down. That's one of the better runs of the evening for, uh, for Borgia. I mean, he, he, he did a good job. It was a, it was a good combination route here. The outside receiver go in, the inside receiver, like he's running out and he goes up a wheel route. But the pressure came from the backside of him forced him not to be able to throw that ball. Good pressure by Ritter. So punting situation coming up here now as Topker will be back to punt and he gets it off. And this one's going to go out of bounds. 
And the Lions will be in business at the 40-yard line of Borgia. Wow, i tell you what. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they get them in there and say, hey, we're going to go for one. With 10.4 yes, seconds to go? We're going for We're going to just try to make sure <laughs> we put the nail in this door and nobody could ever come in or go out. I wouldn't be surprised if they do that. I mean, if I'm up 34, nothing with about 18, was it 10 sorry, seconds? 18.4. 18.4 seconds, yeah, seconds to go. Seconds to go. I'm going to throw it. I'm just going to just going to try to make sure that I can rest my starters that I can have because you're going to have a running clock. You put it up, maybe let yeah, Frederick Moore I, go get it? Uh, Moore go get it. <laughs> and if I'm bored, I'd have put all my guys on a five-yard line to come and come back. Here is BC going for it all for Moore, and he's going to oh be caught goodness. and touchdown. Oh, my goodness. 40-yard touchdown strike, oh Frederick Moore. Big-time players. <laughs> you call Big-time it. plays oh. in big-time games. Frederick Moore, you a big time player. Oh my goodness! Can I get you, you, you called it. You called I'll it. So you. Let him go for it. Right? Why <laughs> with you? Oh my goodness! This kid is special, man. That combination is just something that you just you love to see. The quarterback PJ Beasley throwing the ball to Moore. He's going to get it. They can't run with him. They can't stop him. Just throw it up there, and you say, "Hey, Moore, go get it." So, I mean, that makes it real easy for a coach to coach. Just go get it. Throw it up there and go get it. And he's walking the ball down. Oh, my goodness. All right, two-point attempt now. They give it to Artrell Miller. He goes in and he gets the two. It's good. Two-point conversion. Is I am telling Artrell you, folks. Miller, the Lions lead Borgia 42. This wow. Cardinal Zero. Ritter team got something special. They stay healthy, continue to grow, continue to get better. And just look at the big dogs. I'm going to see. I mean, we're going to see if we can get our camera guy in the second half. Give us a shot at the big dogs up front. See, we don't get them big dogs up front. The credit, huh? A lot right. of credit. We got to get the big dogs credit. That offensive line got some beef. Where's the beef? They're right there, baby. That yeah. Cardinal yeah, Ritter offensive are. line. That is a huge offensive line of Cardinal Ritter, y'all. Oh, my goodness, and some big boys. Yeah, yeah, they, <laughs> that is a big offensive line. Talking about Jalen Holmes over there. Uh, also, Marquise Kane. And those guys are doing an outstanding job up front there. And you got them right there, DJ, uh, Marquise, Marquise Kane, Quentin Jackson, Jalen Holmes, Jaden Chambers, and Jaden Heights all getting a good job. Getting I the job am done. telling you, folks, those big dogs are letting the little dogs eat. That's what I'm talking about. I love the big dogs. We don't get a big dog's credit. But that offensive line is doing a superb job blocking, pass blocking, run blocking. They have played a great game in this first half. Unbelievable blocking for that team, man. Cardinal Ritter is something special tonight. They Let me got ask you this, DJ, if you're the corner covering Frederick Moore, do you want some help from the safety over top back there? Now, if I'm the corner covering Moore, I'm, I'm going to line up on a one-yard line and try to come up and tell y'all to give me help. <laughs> right. I'm just wondering, would you want some help back there behind you? I want everybody back there helping me. I mean, this kid, Frederick Moore, is a free coming athlete and a beast on the field. He is unbelievable. He got some great hands, great speed. The thing I like about him is football IQ, his ability to make adjustments on the ball, but understand the routes that he has to run uh, – depending upon the defense they're running against. So if you have a certain defense, you have to adjust your route to get back to where you need the quarterback to throw the ball to you. And when I'm looking at Frederick Moore, he's able to do those things. But the, the person that I've been kind of impressed with is P.J. Beasley, the quarterback. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's been throwing the ball on what you talk about, accuracy. He has the ability to throw with accuracy, to throw it downfield. You got to like what he's doing. I'm liking what I'm seeing. And the conversation that you and I had earlier today with Coach Payne, he talked about you would see more McCain as we're going to run out the clock here. The Knights are going to run out the clock here on the first half. And that's the end time of the first half. And so the first half will end here, and it has been all Cardinal zero. Ritter Lions leading it 42-0 to zero over the St. Francis Borgia Knights. Uh, DJ, some thoughts on that on that half on the first half. Well, you, you can see when I look at this this Cardinal Ritter team, they're very explosive, very athletic, and they came out and they threw blows quick. 
they wanted to take uh, the Francis Howe, the Francis Borgia team out quick, and they did that. Why? They made a score the first run. They ran it in for a touchdown. After that, you can never stop them. The defensive line has played an outstanding job, putting a lot of pressure on the quarterback, not allowing the quarterback for Borgia to sit in the pocket, and that defensive line, linebackers are getting off the ball and making plays. This has been a, you're talking about a Picasso of a total team. Cardinal Ritter's got to feel very good about what they've, they've done this first half, coming out playing the high-level ball they played. All right, so it has been the Lions here in the first half. They lead it by 42. We'll take a break here from the Lions' den. We're watching it here on Zulu Sports and DJCF TV. Crown Mart, your friendly community one-stop service station and convenience store. Short on time? Look no further. Crown Mart has you covered. Stop by and see us today. Crown Mart. Painters, Decorators, and Walls Foundation. In 1974, their legacy is the Painting and Decorating Foundation. Since then, PDF has represented all the St. Louis Area Union painting, wall covering, and dry taping contractors that are signatory to the collective bargaining agreement with Painters District Council No. 2. Painters, Decorators, and Walls Foundation. Snooks, the friendliest stores in town. Our stores strive to be important community hubs with meaningful connections to customers and neighborhood events and activities. Our company and our teammates generously donate to the United Way each year with all funds staying within local communities to help hundreds of nonprofits. Snooks also supports disaster relief through the Red Cross, supports military veterans and their families through Folds of Honor, and supports dozens of other agencies and organizations that work hard to make our community better. Schnooks, the friendliest stores in Styles Clothing since 1999. Styles Clothing Company has introduced innovative design and fashion to the marketing and promotional world. We specialize in screen printing, embroidery, and corporate promotional items. Small to Fortune 500 companies have sought the services of Styles Clothing Company. Equipped with a remarkable staff, Styles Clothing Company is prepared to meet all of your apparel and promotional needs. Styles Clothing. TJ Weiss demonstrated the excellence of leadership, providing labor, materials, and excellence in craftsmanship. Our attention to detail and project completion in a timely manner has helped us grow to an exceptional rate. TJ Weiss. Crown Mart, your friendly community one-stop service station and convenience store. Short on time? Look no further. Crown Mart has you covered. Stop by and see us today. Crown Mart. Snooks, the friendliest stores in town. Our stores strive to be important community hubs with meaningful connections to customers and neighborhood events and activities. Our company and our teammates generously donate to the United Way each year with all funds staying within local communities to help hundreds of nonprofits. Snooks also supports disaster relief through the Red Cross, supports military veterans and their families through Folds of Honor, and supports dozens of other agencies and organizations that work hard Hard to make our community better. Schnooks, the friendliest stores in town. Okay. That's a nice stabilizer. Okay. Okay. And we're back here at the Lions Den. We're at halftime. Well, right now it's been all Cardinal Ritter Lions. Demetrius Johnson, Kevin Pulley. We are honored, DJ, to have as our guest here, our halftime guest, the Director of Enrollment and Marketing for Cardinal Ritter College Prep. And we call him Coach, but he just takes care of everything. This is uh, Eric Cooper. Coach Coop, how you doing? How you all doing? Good. I, Good. I actually don't coach, but I'm around athletics here so much that they just say, I assume I'm a coach. But well, well, you know what? We call everybody coach. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody, yeah. anybody I, I, associated I, with athletics, Indeed, we call coach. indeed. It's a, it's, a, it's a nice part of our institution, man. And I just, 
our kids enjoy it, so I enjoy it. I enjoy them enjoying it. So, well, coach, just real quickly, just tell us about the philosophy of what you guys are doing over here at Cardinal Ritter. How you've been able to maintain the integrity and keep the program going through this virus and all the other, you know, difficult things that's happened. Well, it's our mission. First off, um, okay, we're one of the few. Uh, Catholic institution primarily serving African Americans and we're in the heart of St. Louis um, and we recognize the dangers that uh, was associated with COVID-19 and everything so we took everything in our uh, in our abilities to take the all the precautions and set our building up for our kids to be successful um, our virtual learning program was one of the top in the area um, our kids were engaged and then they just wanted to get back in the building so we did everything we could to get them back in the building get them back on our playing fields and playing courts and uh, we were successful in it um, Enrollment grew this year. Uh, we are uh, in basketball. We're two-time defending state champions. Uh, football, we made the Final Four last year, uh, losing a game before uh, the state championship game. And uh, we just got it going, man. Um, we, we, everybody's uh, invested in the institution. Um, it's a historical institution. We like to call ourselves a historical black high school. Okay. Uh, so uh, that's, that's, it's, it's just the love that we uh, get from these kids, um, these scholars, and uh, it just – transmit to everybody like uh, our role goes beyond what it says on the paper i know you have to be uh, you know really uh, just appreciate what you what what you've been able to do you just talked about it because you've been the envy of a lot of us i mean because like dj and myself we love sports mm -hmm. we certainly love academics and yeah. excellence in the, yeah. in the classroom and cardinal ritter has found that balance between the excellence in the classroom and out here on the field and the court what 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 has been the key to you all having that success today? um one it's instilling that for our athletes, for our scholar athletes, that one day that ball may go flat. That's one thing we, 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 we strive on. We've had four stars, five stars yeah. in sports come through this building, but we one thing we instill in them that ball may go flat. So if you're able to perform at a high level in the classroom, that translates to the field or to the court because if you can manage the classroom and learning, you can learn the game Absolutely. at a high level. And it, it, it goes hand in hand. And our students recognize that. Uh, like Frederick Moore, he's a four-star wide receiver, but he also maintains a 3.8 GPA. 3.8 wow. so, DJ. Uh, that's, that's awesome. So it's just okay. things that goes like that's that. Awesome. Like uh, we have Jameson Williams, who's at Alabama, lighting it up right now. Stellar student in the building. Mm -hmm. And and he preached that to his teammates, and it just trickled on down. So it's just one thing we do. We, uh, you know, we one thing about our school is that uh, is that's unique to our school is that we have 33% African-American males in the building. Not at practice, not at the games, but in the building, serving from principals to direct enrollments to community directors to teachers to deans to everything. So that helps a little bit when we're inside. I ain't going to say a little, a lot of bit when we're inside the building, too. You know, DJ, I, I watch uh, Coach Coop. We call him Coach, like you said. Yes. He he looks like he has as much fun as the students. Oh, I no mean, his game yeah. day operations, I mean, he's got the music going. He's getting the cheerleaders going. He's got the dancers. Yeah. He's firing up the team coming out. He's PA and he does yeah. the prayer. He he looks like he has his – he's got his students working the media with with, with Ed directing. He he, he yeah, looks like he good. just yeah, – tell me about You look like you're just having fun with the kids. It's, Coach. it's, it's enjoyable. It's, uh, it's a good thing to come to work and um, do all my techie stuff, as my coworkers would say. And uh, our kids love it. It puts them in the ability to feel like they're at a, a, a top-level collegiate program already. So we want to make them – and we're a private school, so we have to have that. And we have to have that because we're not – we don't have feeder schools or anything like that. We're a recruitment-based school, so we want to have everything that attracts the top-level uh, scholar kids, scholar students to our school. Well, Coach, I want to say thank you very much oh, for no problem, uh, allowing fellas. us to be here. Man, it's a great atmosphere. And before we go, just give a word – what, what words would you give to young men – and women, young black boys and black girls who want to aspire to be great, what would you tell them? I would tell them um, anything's possible. And that's just not a slogan. Anything you want to do, just give it a shot. You may fail, but I guarantee you in that you will find your passion. When I went off to college, I thought I wanted to be a sports journalist. In that, I found my passion for education. And that's where I'm at now. And I, I had a lot of no's. But my mentor once told me, man, a thousand no's can't hurt you, but one yes can change your life. Mm -hmm. So keep striving to that one yes. Well, you know, we're going to drop the mic. Man. That. Coach, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, no man. problem, fellas. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. No, thank you all. all right. Thank you all. Right. Thank you all. Right. We truly appreciate you all. All yes, right. Sir, thank you. That's uh, Coach Eric Cooper, the Director of Enrollment and Marketing here at Cardinal Ritter College Prep. Uh, he's doing a great job. 
The Lions are doing a great job on the field. So we're going to take a time out, take a break. We'll come back for the second half. You've been watching high school football right here on Zulu Sports and DJ CFTV.
And welcome back to the Lions Den. Kevin Pulley and Demetrius Johnson. We're at halftime, just awaiting the start of the third quarter. It is the Cardinal Ritter College Prep Lions leading the Knights of St. Francis Borgia 42 to 0. DJ, it has truly been a huge night uh, for Cardinal Ritter College Prep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Cardinal Ritter has really played at a high level tonight. They're doing all the things right defensively, man. They're really dominating. Offensively, they're dominating. But the thing that's been very impressive to me is the offensive line and the defensive line of Cardinal Ritter. They have dominated. When you can control an offensive line and a defensive line of any game situation, that's when you know that you got a pretty good team. All right, Mike Tillman set to tee it up and kick it off, and it's going to be returned by the Knights, and they will get it across the 25 up to the 20. Eight-yard line, and they'll have it first and ten right there. So interesting to see how Borgia, if you're Borgia, what are you going to try to do come out in this second half, when you come out in this second half, DJ? Well, I'm Borgia. I want to try to maintain some continuity on offense. So what I'm going to try to do is control the ball, get a rhythm. I mean, get a few first downs. In the first half, you know, Borgia had a couple first downs. That's it. Mm -hmm. so you want to do more than that. You want to just get some type of rhythm where you can maintain integrity of the ball. you got to do that. All right, so they'll operate from the 28-yard line, first and 10. Zoltmer is back in at quarterback, the sophomore. Also plays defensive back. He has an interception in this game, and it looks like we're going to get a timeout here, DJ, it appears. Who's that on? What timeout is um, Timeout. Borgia. Looks like Borgia is going to take a timeout early here. Yeah, and, you know, that's not a good sign when you just come out and get the ball, get a kickoff, and you get the ball, and you got to call the timeout immediately. I, I That's not a good sign as if your team is focused. And it's not that the kids ain't trying hard. You know, when, you, when you're when you down 42 to nothing in the, in the first half, mm -hmm. that, that is really difficult psychologically mm -hmm. and mentally to come back mm -hmm. to try to go out there and do the right thing. I mean, it takes a unique type of people to be able to overcome that kind of situation. That's why it's going to be very important. I'm going to talk about the game right here, the asterisk. Put an asterisk by this series for Borgia. They got to get the ball, and they got to make some type of rhythm and get a few first downs. All right, so Zaltmer is set now as they come out of the timeout. And looks like we're going to get some motion up on the line. That's going to look like that's going to back the uh, Knights up. It's going to cost them. I don't think this is starting off good for Borgia. Right. I mean, they come out and they, after the first kickoff, they have to call a timeout. Then they get a timeout. Now they get a motion penalty. Uh, that ain't a way to get ready to get started. That's not a really good thing to do right there. Yeah, not what you want to happen. No, it's not. All right. So it'll be sec first, excuse me, first and 15 now. As they'll go back to the 20. Three yard line. So Volmer gets set. Volmer to pass. Volmer's going up top, going long and incomplete down the right side. I give boys your credit. I mean, trying to throw the ball down the field, I mean, that, that's that's something nice because we didn't see many long passes in the first half. So second half, they're trying to make something happen. you got to be appreciative of what boys is trying to do because if they go out three and out, man, this baby, I mean, it's pretty much it take a miracle for them to win this game anyway, but it can get really, really out of hand in the second half. And it went to Marvin Burke's side of the field, wanted to test him out. And a lot of times that doesn't come out well for the opposition, but they definitely took a challenge, took a shot at him. So Zoltman uh, to throw, and it's complete. As he got that one over to Kell, who makes the catch for a short gain for the Knights. Now, if I'm Borgia, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw quick hits, man, just like that. 
roll my quarterback away from that pressure, throw real quick hits to the receivers, or the running back slide that running back out of the backfield, throw quick hits to the running back, and try to get some kind of rhythm. This is very important. I'm going to put an asterisk by this down. Third down and 11, this is very important. You don't want Borgia to give this ball up because they give this ball up. Cardinal Ritter is going to get that baby take it back down to the house. All right. So it'll be second now and 10 as he picked up five on the pass to Kell on that play. Operating from the 28 is Zoltmer and the Knights of Borgia. Trailing it by 42. Zoltmer, and boy, he's going to run right into the heart of that defense of the Lions, and they come up and make the tackle for Some good defensive uh, response up there. You're talking about the den. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they are sitting back, and they are teeing off on this offensive line for Borgia, the defensive line that's getting off the ball. Uh, you know, the thing that's been very impressive, that defensive line has put so much pressure on this quarterback and then the offensive line just made it very difficult for Borgia to get anything going. Very difficult. So third down and a 11 for Zoltmer. Or actually, they're going to do a quick. Oh, man. oh boy, the oh. ball is fumbled by Zoltmer. It's picked up, and the Lions have it inside the 10. I don't know if they was rolling right him. Right outside the 10. Excuse me, Kevin. I didn't know if they was rolling him out. To Lions kick it football. away from the pressure, or was he, was he trying to do a fake? I have no idea. I'm thinking they was rolling him out to mm -hmm. try to get away from the pressure coming up the middle so he can kick the ball. A lot of teams do that when they mm -hmm. get a lot of pressure up the middle. They'll take their punter, and they'll, run, they'll roll their punter out and have him to kick it on the run the to try to get, to try to get uh, not yes. blocked. That's it. So first and fifteen for the uh, first and ten from the fifteen for the Lions. McKay in at quarterback now. McKay gonna throw it. He's got his receiver and he'll get a short gain out of it. Get it up the uh, field on the right side with uh, Sloan, the receiver. That's the first time. The boys just stop that play for a short game. Normally, they're going to get 10, 15, 20 yards on that play or more. That was the first time you got to give boys, you know, kudos because the team ain't quit. They still fighting through it. Although they down, it's going to be you know a miracle to come back and win this game. They're still fighting. Second and seven for the Lions. At the 13, they give it to Artrell Miller, and boy, this time he fumbles, and it looks like it. May have been recovered by Borgia. Well, that's, I'm telling you. Borgia recovers it. Borgia turnover. recovers it. Lions. So a turnover. And that was recovered by uh, Borgia. The Knights, uh, they're, they're running back actually on the recovery uh, to get that one. And that was Trenton Volmert on the recovery for Borgia. And if you... If you're a Borgia, you, you're now looking to try to, to make sure that you can get something out of this, right? So think about it. If they come out and they make a play like that, that's something they can build on next week. You know, I mean, you, you're going to – coach got to find positives in games, and that's a positive. You got to turn over in this game. You got to continue to do small things to keep confidence in your team to make them feel comfortable and go out and feel that they have a chance next week because they're not going to win this game today. Mm -hmm. It would take a, it would take a miracle for them to win the game today. However, what Borgia has to do is continue to do small things positively so you can build from those small things next week when you get ready to plan for your next game. Absolutely. So first and 10 for Borgia. They'll be at their own 14. Cardinal Renner leading it 42 to 0 right now. Zoltmer in at quarterback for the Knights of Borgia. Hands off for 
a short gain on the right side as that was given to Kell, Nathan Kell on the carry. No, no. That was a short gain, however, that was a good game for them mm -hmm. because boys have been going backwards. That time they pick up like three yards on that play. That was probably the biggest positive run from the line of scrimmage they've had all day. And then you want to continue to build on things. You want to continue to build on the small plays so you can get ready to play whomever you got to play next week. Second and seven from the 16 for the Knights of St. Francis Borsha. Go right up the middle. Again, it was Nathan Kell on the carry for another uh, short gain for you, DJ. Yeah, and I like what I'm seeing with boys. I mean, they fighting in there. I mean, four down, 42 nothing. That's very difficult to keep some type of continuity and keep some type of confidence. But they get small gains, and that's what you want. You want them to continue to build. This is a big play right here because they have not converted a third down yet. This is going to be very important for Borgia to convert this third down play. Third down and three. This is Kell, and he's going to be close to that first down. And he's got it. That is the first first down Borgia's gotten in this game. Man, that is big for Borgia because, I mean, you even heard the, the crowd out of Borgia. They was cheering, and, every, and even Cardinal fans was cheering. I mean, you, you want to see young men compete, and you want to see them succeed. Regardless of the score, you just want these young men to walk away with a positive experience one way or another. Mm -hmm. And gaining something positive can do that. First and 10 nights from the 29, their own 29-yard line with 4.30 to go here in the third quarter. This is Kell again on the pitch, and he'll get a, he'll maybe get back to the line, DJ. Again, a short game. That time maybe picked up a couple. Well, Maybe one, I should say. Yeah. Well, you got to give uh, Cardinal real credit. I mean, coming from the outside, they put pressure on, made him turn up the field real quick. It was a nice pitch, but Burks, number one, does a great job coming up field, forcing them to turn in real quick to the to pursuit and lose a yard on that. You got to give Cardinal real defense credit. They still playing at a high level. They still playing as if the score is 0-0. Zero, zero. And then that, that's how you want to build your team. You don't care what the score is. You cannot let up. And, and let your guards down because you're going to be in some tougher games and you want to play all the way through the end. Zoltmer. He's going to keep this in himself and not much running room and a really heads up play uh, coming in there to, to really break things up was uh, Lawrence uh, McConnell for the Lions. He got through the line and tripped him up and actually in the back, he was able to fall forward. Yeah, Lawrence McConnell got off the ball. Boy, he got off the ball fast and was able to get in there and, and make uh, the trip up the quarterback. Staying focused, 42 nothing is hard to do. And if anyone tells you that's not hard to do, they just tell you that. That is a hard deal to do because you can't let down. You want to now build for next week. Even though you, you're winning, you want to work on your techniques, your tackling, and your, and your position so you can get better because you're going to have a tougher game next week to play. Third and eight from the 30 for Borgia. And this time Zoltmer, nowhere to go. Boy, what a surge. Back by your Lions. Let me hear some Lion pride. So the Lions uh, making some uh, quick play up there as McConnell once again in on the action. Also Cam Claiborne coming up to help out as well on the hit. Yeah, that was good pressure from the outside coming up and making a play. That's what you want to do. You want to come up from the outside and make that play. It was good pressure. You got to like the pressure that Cardinal Ritter's putting out there, man. I am liking what I'm seeing. They, they, they continue to stay focused. The coach is still calling aggressive defense. They're making things happen. That's what you want to do because now 
if I'm caught in a rid of coaching staff, I'm getting ready for next week's game. That's what I'm doing. I'm playing my players to get ready for next week. Justin Mort to punt it for St. Francis Borgia. It's going to go out of bounds. And the Lions will, will uh, start up the shop at the 44. First and 10 for the Lions. At, they'll be at their own 44. 139 to go in the third quarter. Make some noise, Lions when do a running clock start? Is the running the clock feet. only in the fourth quarter or what? I mean, it seemed like you have a running clock earlier, didn't that? Don't you think? I think so. I, I, <laughs> I, mean, I know it'll definitely be running in the fourth quarter. What? Yeah. And that's when you're, like, what, 20-plus points ahead? That's when you have a running clock normally? Yep. First down and 10 Lions at their 44. McKay in at the quarterback's position now. Throw on the left side and getting close to a first. I'm going to drive his way for the first down. Boy, he would not go on. Eric Harris just worked himself. He wanted that first down. Yeah, that was good running, man. I'm telling you, that. I, what I'm impressed with is this Cardinal Ritter team is that they have not quit. I mean, they are still playing at a high level regardless of what the score is. They playing high. Now, look at the offensive line for Cardinal Ritter, y'all. We don't get these big dogs a lot of credit. Look at that huge offensive line. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there's some big boys. Oh, you talking about where the beef is? That's right there on the field, baby. Second down for the Lions. This time McKay going to keep it. And a good tackle as he was trying to get to the outside. But it was a good tackle on that outside as uh, coming over there to, to, to slow him down. Uh, and make that hit on the outside was uh, Trenton Volmert for Borgia. Trent Volmert did a good job tracking that place down. Coming from the back end of it, number 36, he ran down. He flattened down the line of scrimmage. What I like about it is his attack, his plan of attack came down the line of scrimmage. And time runs out here on the third and quarter. And the third quarter. And the Lions maintain their 42 to 0 on the score. We'll noise, take a Lions break fans. in the action. This is Zulu Sports and High School Football, DJ CF TV. Snooks, the friendliest stores in town. Our stores strive to be important community hubs with meaningful connections to customers and neighborhood events and activities. Our company and our teammates generously donate to the United Way each year with all funds staying within local communities to help hundreds of nonprofits. Snooks also supports disaster relief through the Red Cross, supports military veterans and their families through Folds of Honor, and supports dozens of other agencies and organizations that work hard to make our community better. Schnooks, the friendliest stores in town. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Back here at the Lions Den. So the uh, Lions are saying they're Lions ready. Seems like they've been they ready go. for a while, go huh, DJ? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll tell you what. You got to give Cardinal River credit, man. They be hyped you up over here, man. <laughs> I mean, everybody hyped. Everything is hyped around here. I'm hyped. I mean, I'm, I'm walking down, the, uh, coming in the stadium hyped. You know, security hyped me up. Parking yeah. parking monitor hyped me up. Everybody just hyped me up over here. And we really think, yeah, and, and they've been so accommodating oh, man, to they've us, been DJ, great over taking here. care of us here, and yeah, uh, uh, we've enjoyed it. Yeah, the athletic director, uh, athletic director Rob Wallace. Man, Coach Wallace, Wallace here. Comes, here comes a blitz coming from Borgia. Can't get the screen up, boy. Now, now that, that time, Borgia brought the heat. <laughs> yeah, Borgia brought the heat that time. And that was a great call on Cardinal Ritter piece because they slid him out, slid the running back out. It was going to be a look of a dump, like a, a screen, mm -hmm. but a it wasn't a the, the, the normal screen. Wasn't a bubble, right? No, it wasn't a bubble screen. What he did, he just slipped him out and was going to dump it to the running back, and he had the receivers up front blocking for him. So that was an interesting uh, structure how they put that screen together. They they flopped the running back out, just slid him out, and was going to dump it to him, let the pressure come. Dump it to the running back. If it's overthrown, that was going to be a big, a big game. All right. Lions operating on second down. Oh, good run on the outside and getting close to the first down as a flag comes in. It was a good push 
off on the right side, and we'll have to see what that what that flag is going to be. But that was Jamarion Parker, who's had some good runs uh, in this game on the right side. We certainly have had some laundry out on the field today, though, DJ. Uh, Coach Curtis Brown has been busy, very busy, he and the crew. Still going to the face mask. They're going to add on, tack on some more yards to it. That is a first down for your going to move it up to the 35-yard line. First and 10 now for the Lions. Everything that could go wrong for uh, the uh, boys has gone wrong today. I mean, Murphy's face mask, going. everything. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what law it is, but that law, they going everything going against him today. I mean, this Cardinal Ritter's team has played at a high level. McKay. And good good pursuit that time by Borch, and not much room as they tried to go to the left side. Not much running room as a good uh, defensive reaction as they made the pitch to the left side, and just not much room at all. Well, what made that play defensive play work is the penetration from the defensive line on that uh, on the left side of the line, the right side of the line, and they forced the running back to arc it. And when he had to arc, everyone else came with the pursuit. And that's what you want on that. You want penetration up front. You want to make that running back bounce it out and bounce it wide out. And he did that and, and allowed the pursuit come in from the outside in to make a play. That was a good defensive play by Borgia. Yeah, we had a hold against the Lions as well. It's just going to back them up 10 more. So that moves it back to the well, – they're going to spot it at the 48 of uh, Borgia. So it will be first down, first and 15 now at the 48 for the Lions. Pitch to the right side. Oh, man. Good yardage. First down and a lot more now as they get it this time to Cameron Harris, who got a That's big run. That's another Lions. First and, 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 and what you call it is just like a little a pitch. I mean, it's, it's a pass. Now, if the running back, which I like, the reason why I like that play, because if you don't catch it, it's an incomplete pass. Mm -hmm. So you don't have a lot of risk. Only risk you have is getting him stopped behind the line of scrimmage. I like that. It's like it's just – Forward pass, get it on the run, get the receiver to hit that corner and go upfield. Good play by Cardinal Ritter. First and 10, Lions from the 30-yard line of Borgia. Here they go down the left side with a good run and some more yardage close to another first down. Great job. Once again, the defensive line is not able to penetrate. If you penetrate, that's how you stop that play. You got to get penetration from the defensive line. If your defensive line is not penetrating. That allowed the running back to arc it and get around that corner and get upfield. So it is the Lions first down from the 20. And this carry, not much room at all as this time, not much room at all for uh, the running back, uh, DeMar uh, DeMorian, on that carry. Not not <laughs> anywhere to go. Good good response from the Borgia defense. Well, when you make a play like that, it's got to come from the defensive line. Defensive line that time coming to smash it down, let the linebackers come up and fill a hole, and guess what? Don't get any yards on that. Good play. Second down for the Lions. McKay to throw. Gets it out to the outside. Boy, working hard. I love the way these Ritter receivers, they just keep working and working, trying to get the extra yard. They don't, there's, there's no stopping them, DJ. Let me tell you what I like about that play right there. I mean, that is nothing but this uh, flaring your back in the backfield out. You drop back, to send your receivers down. They, they clear space for you. You dump it to your running back. Now, you're saying mano y mano, man oh man. Can your defensive back or linebackers stop my great receiver or my great running back? And right now, Borgia, Defensive line, no linebackers are able to stop their great receivers of Cardinal Ritter. So, handoff inside on the run. This was going to go in for the touchdown. touchdown. 
Cameron Harris. Lions. Can I get Whoa. a Lion Pride? Take it to the bank, young fella, and cash it in. Let me tell you why that run was so beautiful. They give the ball to it, Cameron. He goes to the right. His vision was so outstanding, he was able to come all the way back across the field with great vision and hit it up there for a touchdown. That's great vision and reaction. And the thing that I was really impressed with is feet. Great feet, quick feet, getting it up. Great job. So Cameron Harris gets the touchdown, takes it in from 20 yards out, gets in the end zone. And it's 48 points on the board now for the Lions. And looks like we got another flag here, DJ. Penalty marker down. It should be 48. 48. It should be 48 to 40, it's 48 to nothing. That's what the score is right now. And they going for the they going for two again. Hey, you know now, Kevin, Kev, what I would do. If I'm have you know if I'm apprehensive or I don't have a lot of confidence in my kicking game, when I'm up this this far, I'm going to try it. You try I'm going to try to get some get of my some kickers. Work in. Yeah, that's what I would have done. Chris McKay pitches, Parker, Jamarion Parker oh, man, made a nice run. move on oh, the right side, oh, and he gets goodness. in. He, he got it in there. He got, there. He got oh, in. That? that was Houdini. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was a Houdini. Now you see me. Now you don't. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, I tell you what, you talking about a beautiful run. That was a magnificent run. He goes in, he dumps that baby inside. I'm thinking they're about to tackle him. He go in and bounce that baby back outside. Hit the pylon. Bam, six points. Oh, my good Two points. Great job. That was beautiful. Jamarion Park. That was beautiful. Beautiful uh, run. That was almost another Picasso. <laughs> that was a Houdini there, Kev. Certainly was. It, it looked like when because he, he worked the tightrope two down yeah. that that sideline. I thought he, I didn't see how he could get in without stepping out, but he got in there. I did not think he was going to get in there. I ever he was able to bounce it in, and, and it just showed his vision and his ability to read the defense, the defenders, defenders coming up. He bounced it inside, then arted, arced it back outside, and came back inside on the slant and crossed over and took it in. Man, that was beautiful. That was so beautiful. It was. And you often hear, you hear the uh, analysts like yourself talk about backs reading the blocks. Well, so when you say that, what are you really saying when you're talking about him reading blocks? Like, obviously, he did on that. Yeah, what, what, what they mean, the position, the running back is seeing what position he's taking on the defense, defensive end or linebacker. If he's going to hit him to the right or hit him to the left, he's got to read which side he's going to block that guy and go the opposite side of he blocking him. <laughs> That's what they mean when they talk about reading the block. All right, so Tillman's kick uh, is going to be fielded by the Knights of Borgia, and they will get it up across the 30. Clock doesn't stop. And they're going to be at about the 32-yard line. Get it to the 32-yard line. We're at 4 minutes and 44 seconds here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, I mean, this has been uh, just been just a great uh, game for Cardinal Ritter, and they've come back with a vengeance. You know, losing a game, uh, and then showing Illinois, Catholic coming back, mm -hmm. you know, and and showing, hey man, we still can compete, and we still look good, and we're going to continue to play and build. And like I said, you got to give the head coach credit. You got to give Coach Spain credit. I mean, he had his team ready to play a conference game, and they came and they playing at another level tonight. First and 10 for the Knights at the 33. Rorick back in at quarterback now, and they go up the middle with Kel for not much running room at all. Getting that uh, stingy Cartner Ritter defense right there to make the play. If you want to give game balls out, folks, give it out to that defensive line. The defensive line, the Cardinal Ritters played unbelievable. They allow the linebackers to come up and make plays. And that's what you want to do when your defensive line is penetrating and creating havoc. It makes it a lot easier for your linebackers and your defensive backs because now they're taking blockers away, and now you can come up and make a play. And that's what happens tonight in this game. 
the Cardinal Ritter defensive line should be the whole MVP for me. Cam Claiborne and that crew, DJ, was just talking about making the play on that last one. So no gain, second and 10 from the 33. They go to Kell up the middle. This time he gets it across the 35. He'll get about four on it. Gets it out to the 37-yard line. Under three minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. And it started off the gate like that. Uh, Artrell Miller, DJ, from first run from scrimmage, he goes 63 yards for a touchdown. Yeah, I mean, and that started that set the tempo. You know, and, and coaches always say the first play of a game, kickoff, kickoff return, can set the tempo of the game. That run from Cardinal Ritter, the first play of scrimmage, took it in the house for 60-plus yards. That tells you, I mean, that just set the tone of what's going to happen today. And Cardinal Ritter has not taken their foot off the pedal yet. They're down, they carry inside, and boy, that one shut down. Once again, that's just an, an outstanding uh, defensive play up front there. You've been talking about defense line, but Cam Claiborne that time just fought off blocks and made that play. He really did. I mean, they double-teamed Claiborne. He was able to split the double-team to come out and make a play. But you know what? I got to give Borgia credit. I mean, they outmatched. They out physical. They out athletic. But they are still trying to play hard. I mean, I, they have not quit. No, and they're young. Yeah, and, and they're still fighting. So uh, you, you got to give them credit. I mean, because they playing against a beast of a team, Cardinal Ritter. I mean, they playing at a high level tonight. So it's fourth and three now for the Borgia Knights. They're going to keep it on the ground. Voltmert with it, and he's going to be short of the first down. It comes loose, and the Lions have it. Uh, let's I see. I think they called him down. They call him down? Yes. So we're under two minutes ago now. The Lions will be able to set up with a minute to go here now and get ready to wrap this up. Under a minute to go here now, DJ. The Lions are probably just going to take a knee right now. Well, they might not even have to run a play at all, DJ. Hey, man, you know, I got to say, the boys are coaching staff. I mean, they just got beat 50 to nothing. And they they were coming out of the booth here. It's got to be the most polite coaching staff I've ever seen under a situation like this. Your team losing fifty nothing. Your, your coach is very polite. They're very nice and sportsmanship. Just, right? I, I mean, unbelievable sportsmanship of boys. I got to give them credit. All right, so they hand the ball off, and the ball will go to the left side. And we're down to seven seconds, DJ. And that is going to do it for tonight at the Lions' den. As the Lions get the victory, they'll go to two and one on the season and win this one 50 to zero over Francis Borgia. Yeah, I mean, that was a good, was a good game. Uh, Francis Borgia came in, they was overmatched. This Cardinal Ritter team played at a high level. Offensively, they played at a high level. Defensively, they played at a high level. So when you talk about coming in and being a total team, Cardinal Ritter came in as a total team tonight. And they are rebounding from that Joliet loss they had last week. And they really, really showed how good they can be and how good they will be in a, the AAA conference. I mean, it is unbelievable how they played today and it was very special to see them play at a high level yeah that's right and so uh we got the uh of course the dj will pick the player of the game boy has got a lot of i mean you can look at the defensive line you can look at frederick moore you can look at uh and, and what we're going to call a big time player the big time player of the game right yeah yeah I, i'm telling you man um I, i'm i'm torn between the quarterback the receiver and the entire defensive line. Yeah, Beasley, Frederick Moore, and that whole defensive front of <laughs> yeah. the Yeah, uh, I mean, I don't know, Kevin. We're going to have to make a decision. Hey, but you know what? We, we're going to do something different today. We're going to give um, three 
Zero players of the game. Can we do play, three players of the game? We're going to do three players Trifecta, of the game. Trifecta, right? Yeah, we're going to do the trifecta today. <laughs> you know what we're going to do? We're going to do the quarterback, Beasley. DJ Beasley. Okay. And we're going to do the receiver. Frederick Moore. And we're going to do the entire defensive line for Gardner Ritter. The entire defensive line. The entire defensive line of Gardner Ritter, man. Of Cam Claiborne, Mark McGee. Isaiah Edwards, Joseph Reed, that 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 front four, right? And I'm going what to send about them, those linebackers. Oh, the too, linebackers right? play good. And we're going to send them some big time players making big time play T shirts. That's Absolutely. what we're going to get. We're going they're going to get a big time player making big time play T shirts because they're our players of the game. They certainly they may did. be big shirts on them, but that's okay. We're going to give them anyway. <laughs> well, as you said, that offense, but the offensive line, they, I guess those you're going to get those guys. Oh, so what about us? That defensive line, well, they got to get another game. <laughs> another that defensive game. line played at a high level, <laughs> and uh, it was really, really good. And, and, you know, when you talk about uh, playing at a high level, you, you got to be just good when they did that. I mean. You know, it was a, just a great game. Yeah. And, so I guess we better get ready to get out of here. Yeah, I guess we got to get ready to get out of here. And it, and it started that way from the very from the very first play. Like you say, I think that play from Artrell Miller, it just kind of put things in place, and, and, the, and the Lions never looked back after that, DJ. A couple things that happened in this game that you got to be very appreciative of when you saw what Cardinal Ritter did on the field. They came out and they, and they made a statement on the first play of the game the running back gets the ball. He bounces outside Miller, and he takes it in for the house. Then the quarterback steps back in the P.J. Beasley throwing the ball down the field to, to Fred, Frederick, Frederick Moore, Moore mm -hmm. and, and made big plays. The defensive line stand at a, a high level. So when you talk about those kind of situations happening, you've got to be very impressed. Coach Spain's got to be very happy to see what his team did tonight and have something to build on because it's going to get a little rougher. However, Cardinal Ritter, what we've seen tonight, shows that they are ready and they can play with anyone. And I think when we had our conversation today with Coach Spain, he was kind of saying to me, he likes to go with the quarterback with the hot hand. I mm -hmm. think P.J. Beasley had a hot hand tonight. Well, if you, you want to talk about making great decisions, P.J. Beasley made some great decisions with the ball. And he was throwing the ball on point. He was throwing it on time. He made great adjustments on the running game. He did a lot of things that you want your leader to do as a quarterback. And he showed a leadership. And that's what I was impressed with. You like his backside throw, too. Oh, man, the backside throw coming down to the two-point <laughs> conversion was beautiful. I mean, that was what I call a pro throw. Uh -huh. he, he dropped back. The receiver went to the corner of the pylon. He throws it in the back shoulder of him. He turns around and get it. That was beautiful. That was Mike Picasso. <laughs> that was it. And we saw a lot. I mean, some of those runs. We saw some plays that were called back. But, I mean, uh, we saw some uh, hurdling. <laughs> And we, we, we saw some guys walking the tightrope. We, we saw a lot tonight. No, we did. And, but you got to appreciate that. You got to see the, the talent that this Cardinal Ritter team has. And you got to look at the coaching staff. Coach Spain has done an outstanding job bringing this team together. Congratulations. Great win and great victory. All right, so there you have it, Demetrius Johnson and our outstanding crew here at uh, Zulu Sports and, of course, DJ CF TV, a tremendous job. Again, the final score here from the Lions then on the campus of Cardinal Ritter College Prep, the Lions winning it 50-0 to zero over St. Francis Borgia. DJ, we'll be looking forward to the next high school game. Yeah, I look forward to it. I mean, this is an opportunity. I mean, you and I have done games for years, you know, and, and we're back in the saddle again. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm liking big-time players, making, making big-time big -time plays in big-time big games. games. Right. And guess what? Cardinal Riddle with all big-time players. Yes, they were. All right, so for Demetrius Johnson, our entire crew, we say thanks, everybody, for the pictures and sounds, and we'll talk to you next time. We say good night from Cardinal Ritter College Prep and the Lion's Den.